So you got to come up with me. And Larry Dillsworth and Hugo. Is Dilworth. Dilworth, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, down. Down. I just got him. He's new. I've uh, only had him a week. He's my he's my third service dog. Um, Excuse me, is that Mike? Yeah, it's I don't a, even it's know what it is. Is the mic for the camera? I see. Thanks. So the there isn't the a mic. Okay. Uh, um, in order to give a testament, you have to have been tested. We all have been tested, whether we have disabilities or not. Give you a little bit of my background. I was born with what they call spina bifida. I became a person that uses a wheelchair for mobility in 1982. My dad and mom, bless their hearts, took care of me all of my life. Both of them transitioned in 2009. My dad did not tell me until his 96th birthday that the doctors told him because of what I was born with, I would not live to be 50 years old. I will be 69 in June. Go ahead. I told my dad, God kept me around to take care of you from all those trips you made with me as a child of Children's Hospital, University of Michigan, keeping me out of trouble so that I could become an independent individual. Believe me, one of the things that scared me coming up with spina bifida is because I was born in the 40s. They would stick us in a nursing home, 14, 15, 16 years old, in there with senior citizens. That's a frightening thought to a young man. So I feel blessed that I was able to get out and work. Why did I get up and come down here? Because I've known Jerome for over 25 years. We used to play wheelchair basketball together. I'm not that lazy that I won't get up out of my bed and get in a wheelchair and support somebody that has a worthy cause, especially a fellow brother in a wheelchair. Some people are afraid to speak up like Jerome Jackson speaks up, or I speak, or Lisa Franklin speaks up. But you're dealing with a tough group of people. My brother down there, Q, is a Marine. Simplify, brother. So you're going to be dealing with some new militant, aggressive individuals in chairs. Not to say we're going to be burning down buildings or doing violent stuff like that, but you're going to have to deal with our causes. And I am in 100% support of Jerome Jackson. And I am 100% of anybody in here, whether you have a disability or not, these are human rights that should not be taken from anyone. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Best of luck to you.